Hey y'all, it has been a really big day here. I got a haircut. For the first time in two and a half months, I got a haircut. And y'all, I am so excited to finally chop off so much of this colored hair that has been hanging on, that I've been looking at for the past two and a half months because nobody could go get a haircut, me included. I live in Kentucky and hair salons were able to open uh, last week, I guess. And I had a hair appointment today. For the first time in two and a half months, I got a haircut. And if you all are new to my channel, hey, welcome. But if you've been around for a while, you've been watching me go gray. I started my YouTube channel when I stopped coloring my hair to document the process of going gray. So you all have watched me over the last year and a half, almost two years, growing out all of my dark colored hair. I can see the finish line, y'all. I can see it. And I am so close. Look. So I went into Betsy's today. I had a hair appointment. You all know Betsy. If you want to meet Betsy, I'll link her right up there so you can watch a video on Meet Betsy. So I went in, Betsy worked her magic, and we were able to cut off a lot of the color. We weren't able to get rid of it entirely because I have like this much really hanging on at the ends. Like if you look right there, can you see that? That's color. And that was gonna be pretty significant to just chop all of that off today. So I think the next visit, which my appointment is in six weeks, all of this might be gone. What do y'all think? I am just so surprised by all of this dark right here. I just cannot get over the fact that I have all that dark hair. And I just wanted to share my little new haircut too. I am loving it. Betsy cut off a lot of the color at the bottom. It, of course, my hair before I got there today was gigantic. My hair gets huge with all of these curls. So Betsy today, Took it all in, debulked it, as we call it, debulking my curls, chopped a lot of the old color hair off, and here I am. Let me show you around. Can you believe it? I am almost there. It will be two years in October since the last time that I colored my hair. And I, you all have watched this transition. You have followed me on my journey. I am so glad you're here. And I am so proud of myself that I am almost at the end. And I am so proud of myself that I have been able to help you all start your journey. I get so many comments from women around the world who say that I have inspired them to go gray, I've helped them to just stick it out in the tough times, and y'all, that makes me so happy that I can do that for you. That's one of the reasons I started my YouTube channel. When I decided to go gray and I got on YouTube, I could not find a woman with curly hair, with dark hair that I could connect with, that I could see myself in, because I wanted to see what I was going to look like with gray hair. I wanted to see what that transition was going to look like for me, and I could not find anybody. That is why I decided to start my own channel and document the process of going gray. I'm gonna turn 49 in a couple weeks, and my gray hair does not make me feel old. I have said over and over in so many videos how much more energized I feel, how much better I feel about myself, how much more confidence I have. Everything about life has gotten better since I stopped coloring my hair. You can scroll down in all of my videos and just hear all about those things and how much better my life has gotten since I made the decision to go gray. I just wanted to share with you all that I got a haircut. This is how my day went. I got up early. It is a beautiful sunny day here in Western Kentucky. I sat outside, I had my coffee. I went to Betsy's and got a haircut. I had a couple of errands I had to do while I was out. I came home and put on my bathing suit and hung out by the pool for about two hours. Came in, took a shower, fixed my hair, 
put on makeup. Y'all, I put on makeup. Normal, big girl makeup. I put on earrings and put on real clothes. I am gonna put on real shoes today. Not flip-flops, not tennis shoes, real sandals. I'm gonna put on real sandals. I am going out to dinner with my husband. Yes, I am going to dinner with my husband. Restaurants are back open in Kentucky. There's some rules and regulations. It's limited seating, but we're gonna give it a go. We are gonna be normal people and go out to dinner. And I am so excited. So we are gonna go to our favorite little Mexican restaurant. We get to go in. We're gonna have fresh warm chips and salsa, <laughs> which I know is so silly, but I have missed it so much. And we're gonna have dinner, I'm gonna have a margarita, and I'm just beyond excited. And I wanted to share that with you. And then when I get home, I'm painting my nails. I ordered new nail polish. You all know that I love to do my own nails with the shellac at home. So I ordered five new colors and this one called Hot or Not, I am so excited to use. I wish I had time to do my nails before we went out to dinner, I didn't but I'm gonna do it tonight. So I will share this with you all on Instagram or you'll see it at some point, but hot or not, so excited about this. I sorta kinda almost feel normal. Normal for the first time in a very long time because I'm gonna tell you, ever since this whole quarantine thing started for us in Kentucky back in March, I really haven't gone anywhere. Of course, our ice cream shop has been open. I've been to work, but when I go there, I'm wearing a work shirt, my hair's in a ponytail. I put on, you know, minimal makeup, some blush, and a little bit of lip gloss. It has not, it has been two and a half months since I have actually put on makeup and put on lipstick and fixed my hair. So I am feeling almost normal and I'm loving it. I have had such a good day. I wanted to share my haircut and just how good I feel. If you're a woman out there who was finally able to go get a haircut and if you're going gray, just think how much of that colored hair you're gonna be able to cut off because you've not been able to get a haircut like me in probably two to three months. So it is gonna feel so good to just have a fresh haircut, get rid of some of that color, get a new do. I mean, I feel so energized and rejuvenated. I just, I don't even have words. And last week, I got my eyebrows done. The eyebrow threading studio that I go to was able to open back up last week. And let me tell you what, I was one of the first people in line. Well, really not, because when I got there, there were a bunch of women in line waiting to get in. But I got my eyebrows done. And if you all are interested in my little out, my little outfit, I got it at Old Navy. And I showed you all a full body view of it in one of my other videos, which I'll link right up there. It was a little try-on haul the day that it came in. And it didn't honestly look so cute when I got it out of the bag and I put it on. Of course, I had on a sports bra and some other things. But I'm properly dressed now, and I just think it's an adorable little romper. Super cute. That is my day, y'all, and I just wanted to share it with you. Thank you all for being so, so supportive on my journey. I love all of the comments that you all send to me. I love replying back and having conversations with you all about going gray and about my gray hair. And I am so glad that I have been able to just help you all stick it out on your journey through these tough times. So I'm gonna head out to dinner with Randy and I will see you guys later.